Hi Pisces, this is going to be your weekly love reading. And your reading, every time I split the deck, is something really good, okay? We, now, um, this is the Four of Swords with the Nine of Cups. This is like a long-awaited wish. Like, after a, you've been waiting on something here, okay? And this is a love reading. And I also saw the Ace of Pentacles, I saw the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Fool. The Fool came out, well, the, when I split the deck, I, deck to see, see what I'm saying, Queen of Pentacles? You're either about to be in a committed relationship for some of y'all. There's a new job, a new opportunity coming your way. You're currently in this nine of pentacles energy, right? Kind of living lavish, doing good, um, you know, self, you know, independent, self-reliant, good energy. You, you know, you're single, okay? You're not really depending on anyone. Now, you, you know, if you're in a relationship, this is the single energy, but I'm just saying. You might be going on vacation, taking really good care of yourself. You're about to level up into the Queen of Pent Pentacles energy. Yeah, look, every time I split the deck, it's something great. Eight of, Pent Eight of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. You guys might be going somewhere. Like, your career, something. You're getting something after a breakup. An ending to something here. Or, like, there's an ending to something ten of swords, a betrayal of something. This could be somebody who betrayed you. They may want to work something out. If that's not the case, then this could just be you focusing, deciding to focus on your stability, your money, your career, your goals um, after being heartbroken and feeling left out in the cold. So listen, there's either someone here that wants to talk to you and communicate with you. Could be a younger fire sign. Five of Pentacles that, that you're not talking to, who feels abandoned, left out in the cold, or like really lonely since you're not talking to them. Again, if this has something to do with a career, on uh, some form of like opportunity, your finance, you're about to get good news about your finances, you guys. That's great. All right, good news. Money's gonna be looking great. Look at this. Queen of Cups with the, um, the lover's card, Gemini energy and Cancer Scorpio energy for me as a reader. Um, you <laughs> have a loving, passionate connection coming towards you or you're going to have a choice between two people or some form of choice. Do I focus on career or do I focus on love? Okay. Yeah, see, it's like spirit is saying, trust your intuition. Pisces energy, trust your intuition. Show me here for intellect and what's going on. I love that energy, the hair fine. Yeah, there's something that you're going to be committing to. You could have Taurus in your chart. You don't have to, but there's something either you guys are stepping into some form of leader role or you have someone with wisdom or you are someone with wisdom. Something com someone coming towards you who has traditional values and they are going to want commit commitment ultimately. Yeah, a choice. There was this, this, this choice energy. Two of Wands. Aries Leo Sag. The Six of Pentacles. Somebody's like weighing out options here. Hmm. The Ace of Swords. Interesting. So somebody's going to have get, be getting clarity about whatever this is. Somebody's getting some form of clarity or they know what they want to give. They know who they want to give to. They've made a choice. There goes that lover's card and it flipped out. It flipped twice and it, I feel like it went in reverse. So now the truth is there, there could have been someone here in your past energy who gave, who chose the wrong person. They made a bad choice. Maybe they didn't choose the wrong person. It could, it could be them choosing their career. It could be them choosing to move or travel, focus on their goals, whatever it is that they chose. I feel like this person wants to come. They were giving to something else, right, with the Six of Pentacles here. And then we have the Ace of Swords and the Lovers in Reverse Gemini energy. So it's like now somebody wants to communicate and tell the truth about this decision that they made, this bad choice. Yeah, about a, um, a commitment, something where you love each other that ended here. The world card, two of cups. So this could be the person that betrayed you. Alright, show me more about this ace of swords. Yeah, some sort of conflict. So this person, I'm telling you, they, they played mind games. Or they weren't honest. 
Show me about this lovers in reverse. Why is this lovers in reverse here? Two of Pentacles, yeah, for juggling, making the bad choice. Bottom of the day, Queen of Cups. Somebody played with a, a Queen of Cups here. Somebody who was very loving and very wise, very empathic. Mm, let's see. Let's move on to a different deck real quick. Definitely some juggling here. Whether or not it was a person, another person, or, you know, they chose to focus on something else. This person, I feel like, led you on. My back hurts. Uh, um, maybe some of y'all are experiencing back pain. All right, show me how this person feels about the collective, please. Soulmate. They feel like you're their soulmate. Okay. Yeah, they're, they are. They're... <laughs> They, they, listen, they know you were, the two of you were this two of cups energy. They know that you were the perfect match. You know, they know that you brought them the right balance, right? And they're regretting something. And it's almost like, you know, somebody here maybe have lost themselves or they didn't know who they were, okay? They didn't know who they were. Somebody here could have a small dog. Um, or small puppy or something. But, um, you know, I feel like this relationship was like the best relationship you gave this person. Um, someone here may have lost themselves in the, while they were in this relationship. And now they're currently, during this separation, they're discovering who they are again. They're getting to know who they are now. Because I feel like you changed after this. Hmm. There is some sort of, sort of ending here for sure. You're going to get resolution. Maybe you guys didn't get clarity or like closure. It seems like vibration, energy, and positive. Raise your vibration to attract what you desire. So if you're in this energy of loss, you know, and kind of trying to find out who you are and where you are right now in life, Spirit is saying, you know, do things that make you feel that raise your vibration. Um, you know, so that you can attract what you desire and try to stay and think positive, okay? You know, you're going to see results just hang in there. Whatever it is that you're asking about, the answer is yes, okay? So don't worry. There's no need for you to worry here. Some of you guys are dealing with a twin flame and some of you guys are dealing with a soulmate, okay? Um, that's just what it is. We, the, <laughs> the twin flame card just came out, okay? It came out with the healing card, so now we have soulmate, twin flame, and healing. Again, so there's some healing taking place during this separation because I do feel like you guys are separated from each other. Um, like I said, you may have felt like you lost yourself in this connection or someone could feel lost without you or you could feel this way about your person. But while you're on the break, it's like, remember we saw that four swords energy where it's like now you're taking you're taking care of yourself. You're in this four swords, nine of pentacles energy. You're doing better. You're, you're learning about who you are. You're in a good, comfortable space. Um, hmm. You're... <laughs> The spirit guys want you to be gentle with your twin, okay? If you communicate with them, be gentle. Yeah. See, there's some mirroring happening. Somebody's stuck here. Someone, there's a blockage here in this connection between you and your person. Either the blockage could be like that you live apart from each other. The blockage could be for some of you all a third party. It could be, um, you know, some form of a barrier. You're just stuck, right? Or someone here is stuck and maybe not healing, but... I feel like, you know, someone obviously is healing, right? We just talked about that. Somebody here is going to have to shift their focus and clear their energy. You know, if they want to change. Yeah, ascend. Ascend. We have high vibration energy. Shift your focus, right? We just talked about this. This is expansion. Staying connected to spirit. So you guys, make sure that you're, you're supposed to be evolving right now. You're supposed to be in this growth period. Um... In this four of swords, this is supposed to be happening the way that it's happening, but it's like, I don't know, like maybe hopefully the two of you are both expanding at the same time. Show me the, tw show me the twin flames energy here. Show me this, okay, the twin, oh, mm, this twin flame is, 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 cares all about money, status, how something looks. They only care about what's in the 3D. 
All right, material world. They could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Show me the soulmate's energy. Show me the soulmate's energy. There's potential with this soulmate, you guys. You may meet a new soulmate in the fall here, or if you are dealing with your soulmate, your soulmate could be a Libra, a, a Scorpio, maybe Aquarius or a Taurus. I mean, um, or Sagittarius. But the, if you're dealing with a soulmate, whether you've met this person or not, for those of you who this resonates on the soulmate side, there's actual potential with the soulmate, okay? Like, there's some form of change coming or you're going to meet this person or reconcile with this person sometime around in the fall or maybe between now and the summer and fall. We have fulfillment, risk, achievement. Your potential is limitless. So there's endless and potential endless potential with you and the soulmate there's room for growth so but if you're dealing with the twin it's not looking that way show me more with the soulmate energy please soulmate energy union yeah this is looking good yeah either you either if you know who the soulmate is you're this is reconciling lasting love uh, recommitment. If you haven't met this person, then you're, you know, you may meet this person if you're moving in the middle of some form of changes and you're happening in your life. You may be moving, some of you all are um, moving away from the city, out into the country somewhere, you know, because, you know, or you're vice versa. You're moving out of the country in, into a big city. And so it's going to be different for you, right? So, you know, embrace, I feel like embrace the change. Money's going to be better. Um, you're vibrating at a higher frequency. Stay focused on and on your ascension that you're going through right now, okay? You know? Yeah. But this past person is in some form of regret, though. Show me the Twin Flames energy here. Show me the Twin Flames energy. Yeah. Ooh. This person is very disappointed. This, this person is very, they are very, they're not happy. They're in four cups energy right now. You know, they feel like they let you down. They're very upset. Um, you know, at times I feel like they let themselves down and they know this, you know. They've been, I feel like they've been lurking. Page of Swords energy here. I feel like they've been lurking around, like kind of poking around, keeping tabs on you some kind of way. And they do feel like they're, they're, they are the ones who are in this Five of Pentacles energy that we saw earlier. They feel very lonely, isolated, you know, they feel abandoned by you, you know. Show me what else here. Show me these obstacles. Let's see about these obstacles. Show me the obstacles with this twin. Obstacles with the twin. Addiction, could, for some of you all, addiction could be an obstacle between you and your twin blame, okay? Someone here likes attention. They're in their ego quite a bit. <sighs> you know, they're a bit of a, you know, a love bomber too. Awakening. Obsession. Obstacles. <laughs> the obstacles are the fact that they are not awakening and ascending like we just talked about. They have unhealed wounds that are blocking their forward movement. And for some of you guys, those... Some of those um, unhealed wounds, I mean, some of those obstacles are like people, third parties that they haven't left. Or if, like, again, if it's not a third party and you know your person's not with a third party or they don't have someone else that they're with or committed to, then you guys, this is going to be like unhealed wounds from their childhood or some other something that they're kind of stuck in this victim energy. But, you know. They're obsessively thinking about you and watching you support. This person is leaning on their friends and their family with some support right now. Okay. So let's see here. Um, show me more about this twin flame's energy. I mean, I don't feel like I need to clarify the new person's energy. Um, maybe we'll get some more. Yeah, I'll put some energy on the new person, the soulmate, after I finish this, okay? You guys hit the like button and subscribe and check out the new Patreon um, platform. That's where we do monthly um, Zodiac Twin Flame readings. They're posted there every month. Everybody gets one. Every Zodiac sign. We do Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine readings over there too. And then we also do uh, weekly Oracle messages. They're to totally different 
They get weekly, Patreon members get weekly Oracle messages over here, and they also get another one over there. Um, okay, and that's where extended readings are too. It's like five dollars a month. You can cross watch. You can see everybody's video. Show me the twin flames. Whoa! Show me the twin flames energy. Did y'all see that? Um, this person, I feel like they're out of alignment. The chakras are out of alignment or something. Okay. I think this person's obsessively um, thinking about me sexually here. Um, they are like in this pain and regret that you walked away and, and, and that you're not talking to them right now. You know, they're sitting back, you know, just thinking about you, obsessing about the situation. Yeah. See, they're, they this person knows that they need to grow and transform or they feel like you've grown and transformed, especially if they're watching you. They know you have. You know, show me this twin flames energy towards the collective. Yeah, they feel abandoned by you. This person feels like, look at this, this abandoned um, energy keeps coming out a lot. This person just had a tower moment here. Yeah, this person was blindsided by some form of tower moment. And this person, I feel like, is really in despair right now. I don't know about what. Yeah, this person is either holding back from purging and releasing and letting go of whatever it is they need to let go of, whether it's a person, past life regression, from a past relationship that they haven't healed from, or inner childhood wounds that they haven't healed from, or karma from a past life. I don't know, but this person is like, the longer they hold on to it, the more they are going to be affected. This person just needs to cleanse their energy and just let whatever this is go. All right, um, that's just what it is. I didn't really see them taking much action right now, um, you know, because they're in this like pitiful energy. Um, and I hope they get better, you know, pray for you twins. Let's send them some love and light and support. Um, let's check in for those of you who want to hear about the soulmate. All right, show me the energy with the soulmate, please. Energy for the soulmate dealing with epilepsy. Soulmate. Whoa. Quality time. I'll spend quality time with you. <laughs> Listen, somebody's about to shoot their shot. They want to take you out. They want to spend a lot of time with you. This is going to be somebody you might spend long nights on the phone when you're on the phone with this person. You're on the phone with them for like two hours at a time. Or you might talk all night. Or you might fall asleep on the phone all night you know it's like the two of you when you have conversations the conversations are so good it's like you don't want to end the date you don't want to go home now this may not have um happened yet okay if you, for those of you who haven't, who haven't met your person or when you reconcile this is the energy y'all are going to be in netflixing and chilling on the couch in the bed laying on the rug by the fireplace, whatever, in your pajamas, because she's wearing pajamas in here, and so is he, so somebody's spending the night. <laughs> Just be careful not to allow this person to distract you from the things, from your goals, especially for those of you who are, like, leveling up and your career is getting, going to be a little bit more demanding, I feel like. Yeah, You're, but I feel like this is energy of you focusing on each other. Yeah, listen and reflect. I'm telling you, you and this person are going to, like, have really great conversations. Yeah, sometimes what a person needs is not a wise mind that speaks, but a patient heart that listens. That's beautiful. Yeah, y'all are really about to talk and, 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 you know, talk about your past and childhood. You're going to find out that you have way more in common than you really thought. Like, you, you're you going to really be getting to know this person, you know. This person, when they see you, they may feel like you, you may be out of their league. Or like, oh, oh, he would never talk to me or date me. Or she would never date me. And this person he sees you and they're like, oh my gosh, I really, like, need to shoot my shot. I'm so nervous. I feel like the two of you, yeah, this person's going to be giving you butterflies. I was getting ready to say, I feel like the two of you um, are going to be, like, imagining a life together. You're going to be, like, daydreaming, you know, about what what it would be like to be 
you know, together, you know, raising a family. Like, uh, this is the energy that I'm getting. You're going to, yeah, it says, enjoy the overwhelming excitement and bliss of no, or, oh, I'm sorry, of new or old love. Enjoy the overwhelming excitement and bliss, okay, of new and old love. Or old love. Emotional support. Now is the time to check in with your emotions and your partner's thoughts and feelings. So this is going to be, as long as you and your person is soulmate, new or old, as long as the two of you check in with each other, be open, be honest, you will have the relationship and connection that you really want. You'll have something healthy here. Okay? I feel like this is somebody who just is going to allow you to lean on them for mental and emotional support and strength. This is somebody who you can really count on. Yeah, beautiful energy. Okay, okay. Somebody's about to call you. Someone is planning to reach out. Be ready to express yourself. <laughs> so the, when this person sees you, they're going to, you know, I don't know, however you see them or meet them, it's, it just give it a chance. Give it a chance. It seems like something healthy, okay? For those of you dealing with your twin, your twin is not um, ready, you know, they um, have some things that they need to release and heal. For some of you, it's another person. For some of you, it's, you know, um, things that need to be healed from past wounds and relationships and childhood trauma. You know, um, they've got some growing and some ascension work to do, some shadow work to do. They're too much in the material world and focus on money or stability. Or, and I'm not saying nobody should be should not be focused on money and stability because absolutely you must be focused on that to be stable, okay? Um, uh, let's keep it real. Um, we want you to have goals too, don't we? But anyway. Um, so yeah, love y'all. Hit the like button. See you later. Bye.